I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video how I personally have been dealing and preparing with this coronavirus outbreak that's happening. Because I didn't wanna record this video, to be honest. I didn't wanna record this video. I think that it's a little bit out of alignment with my value system and what I post on this channel. But I do wanna be honest with you. I felt called to record this video because I feel like a lot of people are being consumed by fear right now. They're consumed by the fear that's happening in the collective. You know, this coronavirus is consuming people's minds and they're living in fear as a result of this virus. Now, I wanna share with you that we don't need to live in fear. Okay, fear is not gonna help you. It's not gonna save you. It only makes things worse. So I'm gonna be sharing with you how I personally have been dealing and preparing with this coronavirus outbreak with the intention of alleviating some of the fear that's happening in the collective right now, just to help people process this, to be more calm, to be more mindful, to stay healthy and be logical about it, be logical about it, but at the same time, don't give it too much of your fear, okay? So if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Also, if you want to work with me one on one to let go of your ego, let go of your anxiety, let go of the fears, let go of the worries so you can live up into your highest vision and your life purpose, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation to see if you're a good fit for the coaching program. So the first thing I want to share with you is that fear does nothing. Okay, I think we can both agree that fear literally does nothing. Okay, I understand that this situation can be very heavy. It can create a lot of anxiety, it can create a lot of worry, but you gotta realize, and I say this from the most loving way possible, no matter how much you're panicking, how fearful you are, I think me and you can both agree that fear doesn't do a lot other than keep you in fear, keep you scared, keep you anxious, and it keeps your, your energy heavy, you know? It keeps you feeling heavy, it keeps you feeling scared, and it doesn't really benefit you in your life, you know? So the first thing I wanna share with you in terms of how I've been dealing with this is just realizing that fear does nothing. Fear doesn't help you. It doesn't benefit you in any way possible. It doesn't decrease your chances of getting the virus. So just remember, fear does nothing, okay? It does nothing. And I say that from the most compassionate way possible, but also in the most straightforward way possible. Like fear does nothing. It really does nothing. All it does is keep your vibration low. And you also gotta realize that fear lowers your immune system, okay? So what is dis-ease? Dis-ease is when the body is in dis-ease, right? You're in dis-ease. And when you're in fear, you're more in a state of dis-ease, which then increases your chances of getting this virus if it, is, if it is as serious as people are making it out to be, which I don't really think it is. You know, I get that there's heaviness. I don't think it's as serious as the collective is making it out to be. I think the reaction is worse than the virus. I think that the ego fear reaction is worse than the virus. So I understand there's fear. I understand there's a little bit of anxiety around this, but you know, fear doesn't do anything. You know, all you can really do is stay calm, stay mindful, stay healthy, stay happy, and just keep living your life. You know, like this is just my opinion. Uh, I've been living the same life. You know, I haven't changed a lot in my life. I'm still recording videos. I'm still taking calls with clients. I still go to the gym, you know, and I wash my hands after, but I already washed my hands after before the coronavirus as well. So nothing's really changed other than the fact that it's in my awareness, but that's the key is to just be aware, be mindful, but there's a fine line in my opinion. There's this line between living in fear versus just using your logical mind. Right? When you're consumed by the ego, then, it's, then the fear is controlling you. All that fear, all that anxiety is controlling you and it's actually keeping your vibration low and it blows everything out of proportion. Things become heavy, things become dense when you're in fear, your life becomes unenjoyable, things become very heavy. So I personally have been living the same life. Haven't changed a lot. Now some people might think, you know, I can assume, like I haven't got any you know, remarks like this, but some people are gonna disagree with this, you know, in this video thinking that maybe uh, I'm in denial, maybe I'm rejecting, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not pushing it out of my reality. You know, to some degree, I would say that the coronavirus doesn't exist in my reality. I almost give it no thought. But at the same time, I'm aware of it. You know, I'm not in denial. It could be serious, it could be not serious, but the truth, 
the truth, the actual truth, not the concepts of what we think about this situation, but the truth is that fear does nothing. Okay, that's the truth. Whether you agree or not agree, fear doesn't help you. So the second thing I want to share with you is that fear lowers your immune system, okay? It lowers your immune system, it keeps you stuck, and it keeps you in a state of disease. Now, I also want to share with you that, you know, just stay calm, stay peaceful, stay aware, and, you know, take precautions if you want, but I would just say, you know, be mindful, be aware, and don't let the fear consume you. And you also got to understand that the news is only sharing negative things, okay? Have, let me ask you this. Have you ever seen a positive piece of news in your life, ever? Have you ever opened up the news and saw something positive where you're like, okay, that's positive, that's a, very, that's a beautiful piece of news. Has that happened before? Or have you only watched the news and seen negative things? Because the news blows things out of proportion. Okay, they make it more serious than it actually is. So you gotta realize that the news blows these things out of proportion and makes it way more heavy than it is, you know? The news will keep that vibration low and actually keep you living in fear. That's why I don't really watch the news. You know, I don't watch the news for that exact reason because it keeps your vibration low and it keeps living in fear and then it gives you a false perception of reality, okay? Now, it's not that you don't want to be mindful about the situation. I'm not saying don't be realistic, don't be logical, you know, still use your logical mind, but don't allow the logical mind to consume you, you know? Are you using your mind or is your mind using you, right? All you can really do is be present, you know? Be present with what you want to create. Focus on the positives, you know, be mindful and focus on what you want to create. So what I've been doing is I've been living the same life. You know, I've been living the exact same life that I've been living and still doing the same things and still living in inner peace. I've been thinking about it a lot, like at all, like very, very little. I'll just be mindful. It'll pop up in my reality sometimes and I'll just choose not to engage in that reality, you know, because I create my reality. And, you know, if I, cons if I give all that attention to the fear, well, then that's what you're feeding. You're feeding that collective energy of fear. All you have to do is observe that fear, let it go, and continue on your path. You know, in my opinion, it'll pass. I think that there's an overreaction to this whole thing and that it will pass just like everything else. You know, this too shall pass. You can understand that, you know, if we're talking about the law of attraction and the law of attraction basics, you got to focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Okay, so it's not that you don't want this virus and you don't want to be affected. You want to focus on what you want, which is to be healthy, to be happy, and to be abundant. Just focus on that. You know, when you focus on what you want versus what you don't want, then it becomes much easier because if you're thinking, I don't want this, I don't want this, I don't want this, well, that's what you attract because what you resist actually persists. So if you're living in fear thinking, I don't want this in my life, I don't want to be affected by this, you only have a higher chance of attracting something like that into your life. What you got to do is focus on what you want. Okay, I still focus on my vision. Like honestly, if you're focused on a vision, if you're focused on something that you want to create, you don't have time and energy to be wasted, you know, gossiping about things like this. You just don't have time. You know, focus on your vision, focus on what you want to create instead. And uh, you know, you're not going to waste any time focusing on this. Now, because people love to, the ego loves that, like part of it wants to hear the news and it wants to talk about it and it wants to complain about it and uh, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't help you to decrease your chances, okay? So I would just say, be mindful, you know? That's why I personally don't watch the news, so that's what I wanna say as well. And focus on what you want. Focus on what you want. Focus on the bigger picture. Focus on, on what it is that you really want to be creating in your life. Focus on the positives. Focus on the things that you do want to create versus the things that you don't want to create. And it's basic common sense, but we can forget that in moments like this. So focus on what you prefer to be experiencing versus what you do not prefer to be experiencing. And it's that simple. You know, when you focus on what you want, it becomes easier. And all that heaviness and all that anxiety and all that fear is only going to last longer if you resist it. The key is to observe and let it go and realize that it's not who you are, okay? It's just a feeling and it doesn't help you. It doesn't help you. That fear doesn't help you. Once again, have you ever seen anything positive on the news? All you do is carry fear with you. You just care. It's like you're holding on to fear that's not even yours. It was never yours to begin with. It was the conditioned part of you. So let that go and focus on what you want, okay? It's the most practical thing you can do. And that's how I've been living my life. And 
I've been living a strong life of inner peace. Okay, things are very enjoyable. And I would also say that the number one thing you can do right now is just stay calm and keep your vibration high. You know, keep your energy high, keep yourself energized, keep yourself focused, keep yourself focusing on health, happiness, and wealth, and focus on those things. You know, it's moments like this where you just want to be grateful for what you have in your life, focus on the positives. And it might sound cliche, but that's the truth. What else, like, what's the alternative? What's the alternative? Either you live in fear or you focus on the positives. What else is there to do? Okay. Now, once again, I've been living my same life. I haven't been consumed by this. I haven't been allowing it to consume me. And that's the key is to not let fear consume your life. Because even if we're talking about outside this whole situation, fear in general is what controls you, right? Fear is what controls you in life. Fear is, is what wants to control everything. Fear is what you know, keeps you in a state of being controlled. Because when you're in fear, it's almost like you're not even the one taking actions, but the fear is taking actions for you. So you gotta realize that it's important to keep your focus in the right place. Remember, energy flows where attention goes. So what you put your focus on is very, very critical at this time. Are you focusing on things that aren't in alignment with your vision? Or are you focusing on things that are in alignment with that vision? You know, for me personally, focusing on this whole thing is just not going to benefit me. It's not going to serve my mission. I don't want to be seeking out for fear. And so I don't. And that's the power of your focus is to focus on what you prefer instead. You literally start to see a reflection of the things that you keep your focus on for a long period of time. You know, we have 60,000 thoughts per day and they come from what you focus on. So if you truly want to deal with this, just stay calm, keep your vibration high, keep doing your meditations, stay present to the moment, keep your vibrations high, and that's all you can really do. You know, once again, I wanted to record this video just to alleviate some of the fear because I feel like a lot of people are just blowing this whole thing out of proportion. People are in a state of panic and fear and worry. And then you know what? Something else is going to pop up in the news next month and the next month and next month. And that's what the news does. It keeps you in fear. There's always going to be that next thing. And that's what the ego likes to do is to cling on to that next piece of information and keep you in fear. Don't be consumed by that. Don't be consumed by that. Okay. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy in this moment. Okay. Time doesn't exist, but it's a waste of your mental energy. It's a waste. Fear lowers the immune system. Fear keeps you in a state of dis-ease, which gives you a higher chance of attracting that kind of stuff into your life. So stay calm, stay healthy, stay happy, keep your vibration high, and you'll be just fine. You know, there's nothing to worry about here. You just gotta stay calm. The news blows things out of proportion, okay? And they make it way more serious than it is. There's always something. There's always something to be scared of, but are you gonna focus on that? Or are you gonna focus on something else? And once again, this is not about being in denial or rejecting things, pretending they're not real. This is just about being mindful, staying present, and focusing on what your priorities are and what you really want. You know, it can be logical, you know, if you want to do all that stuff that people are doing, then do it. But just be mindful, be present, stay present to the moment to keep your vibration high. And that's pretty much all I've been doing. All the stuff that I shared with you is exactly what I've been doing. I stay calm, I stay peaceful, I stay focused on my mission, I stay focused on my goal. And my life hasn't changed at all since this whole thing happened because I don't let the news consume my life. Okay, I don't let the news consume what I do or how I live my life unless it's absolutely necessary, but I don't think it is. I think that it's this whole thing is just an overreaction. The reaction is worse than the actual thing. And I mean that in the most loving, but also straightforward way possible. It literally is an overreaction. You wanna live in reaction or you wanna live in responding? Responding and observing is the key here. So I hope this video helped you to remove any fear and just stay calm, stay happy. Remember, stay present to the moment. You know, keep your vibes high. That's all you can really do. And uh, in general, take this as a lesson to not allow the news to consume your life. Because a lot of it, you know, very debatable, but you know, there's definitely some things that aren't true on the news. I'll just say it like that. And uh, there's, they don't give you the entire truth. They nitpick things that are based on fear. They don't tell you the whole truth, okay? It's not the truth, it's just a concept. And then you run around in society with that concept in your mind and it keeps you stuck. It keeps you stuck, okay? So that's all I have for this video. I hope this video helped you to process this whole thing, to keep your vibes high, 
and hope that I served my purpose with my intention of removing some of the fears around this, you know, because I, I really haven't been affected by this basically at all. And I want you to realize you have the power within you as well. And the likely chances are, you know, I'm going to be an inner peace and I'm not going to attract this and somebody else is going to be in fear and they're probably not going to attract it either, you know? And then, so I'm in peace and they're in fear and then we both get the same result. But you know, whoever gets it, whatever happens, you can't control that. You can control the, all you can control. Focus on what you can control, not what you can't control. That's one last thing I wanted to share. Focus on what you can control, not what you can't control. That's what fear does. It keeps you scared for things that you can't even control, that things that, for things that haven't happened in yet, things that haven't even happened yet. The ego wants to control everything. The ego wants to control this, control that. Let go of control. Focus on what you can control with this, which is staying mindful, staying focused on health, Focus on wealth, focus on happiness, focus on positivity. Don't be in denial. I'm not saying just like, oh, this isn't true. You know, pretend like everything's all good. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying be realistic, feel into the fear, let it go. Don't let it consume you. And then just choose to be present. Even if you feel fear, be present with that. Observe that fear and let it go. So I'm not saying if you're scared to just like reject that and pretend to be happy. I'm saying don't let the fear consume you and observe it and let it go, accept that you're scared. And then once you accept it, then just shift into a positive mentality instead. That's all you can really do. That's all we can really do here is observe the fear, let it go, let those fears purge out of us, let all that stuff go, and then shift back into the abundance frequency. You know, because in life, fears are gonna come up. We don't have to be controlled by those fears. We can observe those fears and let them go. So that's all I have for this video. Once again, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit the like button. Also, if you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one to let go of your ego, let go of your anxiety, let go of your fear, let go of your worries so you can live up into your highest vision and live up into your life purpose, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation to see if you're a good fit for the coaching program. Have yourself a great day and I'll see you in the next video.